This audio was recorded for the Heads and Tails Mental Health Project with Chili Studios. So let's have a look at insane um, Cambridge Dictionary definition. So one, mentally ill or informal. I sometimes think I'm going insane equals I feel very confused. And the Collins Dictionary definition, someone who is insane has a mind that does not work in a normal way with the result that their behaviour is very strange. So what, any thoughts on just on that bit? Well, my immediate feeling about the Collins Dictionary definition is that the word normal makes me feel very uncomfortable because I believe that even um, someone with a mental... Well, definitely someone with a mental health problem, uh, the, the, the mind does work in a normal way uh, quite a lot of the time. Mm. At, at various levels, that there is uh, normal functioning. So I, I, can't, I do quite strongly resent the inference that uh, someone with a mental health problem does not have a normal mind. I agree. I also think that, that, that this whole idea of normal it, it reduces people and stops anyone being an individual, really. Mm. Um, I think who would want to be normal anyways? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, and also that, 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 I mean, I find the word strange has some kind of um, negative, negative yeah. things, you know, dark fear, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, and, and so then what that says is anyone who isn't normal is outside that and is, is bad almost. Yeah. The repression, the mental health. Maybe, maybe there's some validity there to maybe challenge some of these definitions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in a real way. Yeah. I was, I was, yeah, I was saying before to you, Ryan, I thought um, if you look at a lot of, if you, well, obviously the Bible or dictionaries or history books, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a lot of subjective, you know, subjective <coughs> use or filtering of, of, of you know, Real events to 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 make it you know to make um, you interpret an event in say in history as being in one way yeah or you know just like the sun will will be will filter yeah. any any news into being part of a certain agenda and it makes you wonder like you're saying with with this dictionary you know what what you know well the way the news is presented especially with the uh, uh, someone who goes around, say, I don't know, um, shooting children in schools and that, mm. and the uh, seem to the but the the media seem to immediately jump on any uh, um, aspect of uh, mental health being involved. You know, give people with mental health mm. the wrong bad name. Yeah, it's just interesting that the. I mean, I, th I think it's a really good idea to challenge uh, the dictionary. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because what the dictionary is doing is 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 making a moral standpoint almost, yeah, or is, yeah. you know, is, 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 is being subjective. Yeah. Well, what's the um, definitions in other dictionaries, like the, college, uh, the Oxford Dictionary, or is it, what, why is this one specifically being chosen? Well, I don't know, it's got the Cambridge and the Collins, I'll look at, I'll look at the Oxford. Yeah. So the Oxford Dictionary, um, yeah. in a state of mind which prevents normal perception, behaviour or social interaction, seriously mentally ill, he had gone insane. Um, so it's slightly different to that one in that it's mm -hmm. saying that the prevents normal, perf um, normal perception mm -hmm. rather than a mind that does not work in a normal way, it's slightly different. And then it says, of, of an action or quality, quality characterised or caused by madness, extremely annoyed, right. <laughs> a fly whose buzzing had been driving me insane. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, people use those extreme words, don't they? I'm yeah. starving, for example, is, isn't it? Yeah. Extreme. But, yeah. So, yeah. No, go on. Go on. Um, extremely foolish, irrational, um, shocking, outrageous. Mm. Or in, uh, now astonishingly good or impressive. 
that, that pudding was insane. Mm, mm. That sort of thing. Uh, and it, so gives, yeah. it gives a bit more... Oh, well, it actually, in, if we look on now to the origin... Well, that's interesting in the point well, that it, it doesn't refer to a person, it refers to the attributes of a person, whereas the Collins one says someone who isn't seen, whereas the Oxford one you just read out refers to mm. states of mind. Yes, yeah. it, it, it's not as judgmental, is it? No. I think it gives um, a, ver a range of uh, interpretations in society mm. as to how people use the word uh, or apply it. In fact, I think this is a lot better in a way. A state of mind which prevents normal perception, behaviour or social interaction. Mm -hmm. I wonder how we would um, define it. Mm. Might be interesting to come up with a, a definition and uh, contact... Uh, Collins Dictionary yeah. <laughs> and say we would prefer this yeah. interpretation, uh, this definition please. Well, I quite okay. like the Oxford one, uh, in yeah. a way. Because yeah. it's a state of mind which prevents yeah. normal perception, behaviour or social interaction. Mm -hmm. So you could say that, you know, your own normal perception or behaviour or social interaction. The thing is, it could be argued that, I mean, for the Collins Dictionary definition, for example, I don't want to labour it, but uh, it's, uh, it could almost be, be an argument that uh, people actually quote from the dictionary. So if, it's, if, in, if the uh, definition is saying that uh, people who are, uh, have uh, uh, a mental health problem are insane are not normal, and that they're very strange, people might actually quote that as being fact, mm. Mm. and it's not. I wonder if there's a legal bit later on as well. Yeah. Let's have a look now. There's the synonyms and related words, aberration of the mind, mm -hmm. alienation, disordered intellect, derangement, loss of reason, lunacy, madness, mental incapacity, unsound mind. And want of reason. Right. <coughs> um, and then in the origin, uh, the word sane derives from the Latin adjective sanus or sanus. I don't know, how would you, you know, your Latin? <laughs> sanus. Sanus, I would sanus, say. meaning healthy. Uh, so yeah. unhealthy. So that's, that's actually, I mean, this is, this is an old Latin. Um, but that sounds like a, a much nicer and more aware term yeah. than what we have now, in a way. That it's, you know, when we talk about it as being mental, uh, mental health. Rather yeah, than, yeah. Um, what about situations that could be classed as insane? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Because it doesn't always have to refer to something that's like a mental health problem or yeah. something like that. It yeah. just seems to automatically jump to that. Yeah. Pretty much anything Donald Trump is involved in, I think, could be classed as that. Donald Trump is bloody insane. Well, it's he didn't even have basic bloody English. How the hell he became a president? Yeah. But funnily enough, there have been, uh, is it psychiatrists or uh, psychologists or maybe, who've uh, uh, pointed out uh, not long after Donald Trump got in as uh, president that he does distrib uh, he does uh, exhibit traits of um, um, uh, what's the word uh, being some, a nutter yeah basically uh, mm -hmm. oh, I'm trying but to think he, of he the word was, I am not insane I'm just a very intelligent oh, human being traits of uh, psycho psychopathy right yeah uh, a narcissistic tendency is definitely oh, well, narcissistic. Yeah, yeah. So well, I mean, if you were banging some, I mean, if you were banging some yeah. bloody model, I mean, you'd have a narcissism and all. Yeah. So looking at this again, it, it, insanity can be considered as poor of health of the mind, not necessarily of the brain. Um, yeah. but rather, refers to defective function of mental processes such as reasoning. Yeah. And then, uh, then compass mentis. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Sound of mind. It's Latin, isn't it? Compass mentis. 
Um, and then in medicine, the term insanity was used in a medical context up to the late 19th century, along with the term madness and lunacy. They were gradually displaced by mental illness, a term which first appeared in the 1847 novel Wuthering Heights. Yeah. Oh. Insanity is no longer considered a medical diagnosis, but is a legal term in the United States, stemming from its original use in common law. The disorders formerly encompassed by the term covered a wide range of mental disorders yeah. now diagnosed as bipolar disorder, organic brain syndromes, schizophrenia and other psychotic dis disorders. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are big areas, aren't they? You know, where the, the, the people that are in, so the people in, in medicine and the people obviously involved in legal um, use coming up is, uh, are people who have great power you know, mm. over, over a patient or over a, a person who's, you know, because yeah. they've crossed the line legally. So, yeah, legal use. Insanity in English law is a defence to criminal charges based on the idea that the defendant was unable to understand what he was doing or that he was unable to understand that what he was doing was wrong. It's interesting that in mental health hospitals, the, uh, the uh, emphasis is on trying to empower the patients, and yet with uh, de in varying degrees with constraints. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's like removing that power to some extent, but trying to empower them at the same time. Mm. Uh, but generally it's following rules and procedures and... Uh, uh, Aspects of uh, health and safety are involved, you know. So, so things like um, giving the medicine to to uh, to restrain them, or, or actually physically restrain them as well. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I mean, physical restraint can be involved. Mm. I think I don't know if the I don't imagine the strapping of it no. these days. But well, we were talking last week. Uh, someone was saying that that people are still using. So you said that line, is it using um, electric truck? ECT, yeah. Uh -huh. I was shocked to hear that. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. Shocked, <laughs> yeah. <sorry. laughs> uh, no, yeah. no it's, it's, yeah, of course. It's, uh, I mean, some people, there seem to be two camps. There seem to be people who uh, think it's uh, a really, uh, including people with uh, mental health problems, who think it's, it's absolutely inhuman, it's horrible, it's... Uh, they hate it, and there's other ones who say, "Oh, it's really helped me. It's really mm. worked for me." You know, it's but yeah, it still still gets used. So, uh, do you scoop out of it? Yeah, uh, insanity is no longer considered a medical diagnosis. It was a legal term in the United States, stemming from the original use in common law. So. Is this common law in the United States at all? I didn't know they had common law in the United States. Um, I don't know. Uh, because they've got a constitution, we haven't. We'll have to like identify a specific diagnosis rather than the same. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they have. Sorry. But it's, it says insanity is a, leg, is a legal term in itself in the United States. Yeah. So where's the definition of insanity in the United States? Um, so I think it's, it can be quite a complex thing in terms, in legal terms. Uh, it but probably is, but if, if, if they're defining it somewhere, then they've got to have a rigid definition of it if, it, yeah. if it's a legal term. Well, I would imagine they'd have to have definite evidence uh, that, that uh, if someone's uh, claiming uh, insanity as a uh, reason for them committing uh, a murder or something. I would like expect that after, but the evidence would have to contribute to some kind of definition. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's people who plead insanity and they're not insane. Like, well, just yeah, to get out of a this crime. is absolutely right. I've seen a few programmes on... Uh, oh, what's it? Uh, oh. I'm trying to remember the names of the channels now. 
reality and things like that, channels like that. And uh, yeah, there, there's been a, a history of people trying to claim that they uh, had a mental health problem and didn't know what they were doing, and they actually uh, did know what they were doing. Mm. So I think it's just saying that it's a bit like the one in, in, in English law. The United States legal tradition is that if a person is unaware of what they're doing, what they're, what they're doing is morally wrong, that person should not be held legally responsible for their behaviour. And different states have got slightly different. Um. It could be argued, you know, that in the um, realm of nature overall, that uh, the human mind is not normal anyway. It's not a normal sort of condition within all of nature. Most animals do not have that sort of intelligence which is far beyond uh, what is actually needed in order to mm. survive. Mm. In other words, uh, the human mind is an abnormality in nature. That's yeah, my possibly. argument. I mean, <laughs> legally, the, a lot of the things that they might do are, yeah. are things that animals would do, you know, mm -hmm. stealing, mm -hmm. murder. Uh, but yeah... Constant struggle between the uh, animal mind and the uh, moral mind. Yeah. There's um, terms like uh, criminally insane in, in English mm. law. That, uh, because and I presume that if you're just insane, there wouldn't be enough grounds for being sectioned. Mm. You know, the, the danger. Yeah. yeah. And there's a uh, temporary insanity. Yeah. I'm not too sure about that one, <laughs> to be honest. I suppose well, I people can have breakdowns, I guess. Yeah. Well, I think we discussed this last week, didn't we, when we were trying to wrestle with the definitions of uh, dangerous idiots and lunatics lunas yeah. in the mm. old definitions. Because lunatic had connotations as with being dangerous, didn't they, in, in that yeah, definition Yeah, I week. think what, what, what you found was that lunatic is defined as... Um, um, uh, um, a try, um, not a permanent state. I, I yes. That's what we said yeah. last week. Mm -hmm. it, you know, as idiot was. Well, um, idiot, uh, I think, was a term used to maybe just label people with uh, learning difficulties. At one yeah. Time. What they did in the in this definition the other day is to. to I think it was a slightly older definition that we read, but it was like um, of lunatic was, yeah. uh, you know, uh, is someone who, unlike an imbecile, they throw or something like that, is someone that had their wits and then lost them, yeah. rather than someone who never had their wits. This is yeah. their kind of the way they put it, which is not nice. Yeah. But that, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, should we write about it? Should we write? Um, I should need a pen. You just need a pen. Yes. Got a pen here. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Well, this chair's a bit damaged as well. Is it? Yeah. I think my. Oh, just nip my finger. I think I might accident week, accident week. Just nip well. my finger. Yes, I think I might have to have a look around, look at some of the chairs and see if they're safe for use. Well, let's just, let's just have a very broad title. Uh, 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 we could probably be maybe well, uh, write something and then you and then make our own title yeah. of afterwards. But well, give me a bigger piece of paper and I'll it make right? it really broad. Mr. Ivan wrote my own title. Is it related to this? Well, it's called the spaces between the sky, so it kind of is. Okay. Yeah. But it is related to it. I'm All just right, not telling right. you what's about. No, that's fine. No, it's just no, it's just, you know, it's just good to work as a group. So, mm. so it's, sorry. So Why not put put your title, but maybe it's. I'll dock the ribbon, that's fine, I'll just, I'll just get it, I'll dock the bit. Yeah, so I, well, I mean, I don't think we should use, necessarily have to use the title in saying anyway. No, well, well, this is true, I, I think it's... Uh, it's right, our own thing. Can I use yeah. that or not, or...? Yeah.
That's, that's what I would think. Well, that's what I do. I just try to incorporate it into it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, exactly. uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, a title. I, th- I think this thing about poems having to have titles. Do they have to have titles? No, they don't. No, do they? No. Because you. Well, depends, you're, we're talking about being normal here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, I mean, I've found myself have wrote, written a little poem or something. And I thought, what can I have as a title for it? It's like, it's like, well, and then it occurs to me now, it's like, well, why have a title? Yeah, and know? sometimes you don't know really what the poem or whatever you've yeah. written is about until the end. Yeah. But then in other ways, it's horses for courses, because yeah. some and people, if they get a title, that's, that's yeah. them, you know, they're and off. But putting the title actually defines the poem, whereas the, uh, the people who read it should maybe define it themselves in their own way, rather mm-hmm. than having it already predefined. I think we should write something and then try try coming up with a few different titles for it. As yeah. a, as a, a so you don't want me to write this? So. Yeah, just carry on. Carry on. Mm. Yeah, carry on, yeah. Carry on. <laughs> carry on. So what, what is the title? Ah. Well, Insane is the conversa- is the, the, the source, the source material. Mm. But it could be a title or not. Yeah. I need, um, I need a between um, synonym, but I don't know what. Between what and what? The synonym between. Oh, you need another word for between? Uh-huh. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't have it on here, which is pathetic. Mm. Betwixt? doesn't even have that. Yeah. Um. Bridging? Um. No. Link? Synonyms. In the middle. Across the space, separating. Linking, joining. Does the word cin- cinnamon have any cin- synonyms? Can it even pronounce cinnamon, it? Cinnamon. Yes. Does 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 actually cinnamon Is it cinnamon? I can't. I've started trying to think about how to pronounce it. Now I can't. Because you've got sibilance. You've got to be a preposition. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Context. Something between the something. No. Right, so uh, right. It doesn't even have it on yet. It's ridiculous. Right. So are we writing anything we sort of feel about yeah. it? Yes. It doesn't have to be poems, anything open, very open. Depends on what 